I was never gonna be a man's physique. Didn't have much of an off season. I like his physique better. I'm always very energetic. I will have to put me as one of the greatest. Mr. Olympia was won by the back. So when you, um, when you train and you get ready for a contest, for instance, right? Who do you try to uh, mimic to a certain extent? Who a program? I know obviously you adjust as you go, right? You learn a lot, but but like yeah. still to like I know you're a fan of bodybuilding in general, so and I know certain eras appeal to you. So which kind of like which bodybuilder are you trying to emulate, or which technique do you try to follow when it comes to like getting condition and size? Well, technique and training style, I've kind of created my own now after 27 years, but I emulated Dorian. Early on, I emulated Dorian. His intensity, um, the way that he trained, and that 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 just lifting as heavy as you possibly can, where your toes and every inch of your body is is tense, and and it's a, hard to explain, but it's a it's a level of intensity that I've come to realize working with hundreds of clients, and not many people can do physically or mentally. So I emulated Dorian. I did very low volume training for over 15 years. And that's how I built my frame naturally. I got bigger, I got stronger, I put on dense size. But it, you come to a point where um, you can't train like that. So now the strength that I built, I'm lifting heavy weight for 12 reps. If I go down to four to six reps, the weight is so heavy, it's dangerous. You know, at my age now, Dorian was retired. Uh, I don't know what Ronnie was when re he retired, but a lot of these guys were retired. So you know, I've been training at this intensity for a very, very long time, and I can't train like that anymore. So now I do a lot more. I do more volume. I do higher reps um, and dif different intensity techniques, you know. And now, look, modern science and what we've learned about hypertrophy and muscle growth is continually changing. So what we've thought about how you get big and muscular, a lot of it is false. I'm a big believer in high intensity and heavy weight, but – the newest, newest studies have shown that you can grow muscle with low volume, heavy weight, and you can grow the same amount of muscle with higher volume, lighter weight. Now, granted, the muscle fibers, uh, type one, type two, you're targeting different muscle fibers. When you lift heavy, you could be burning more calories. There's, there's certain little pros and cons there, but for the most part, you can build muscle both ways. So I think it's good and it's smart for bodybuilders to implement both. Training like Dorian is is very, very taxing and not a lot of people can handle that year round. I did it year round without any breaks. Do you think it's better, like for example, right? I know, I know people do drop sets, right? But do you think it's better to do the whole exercise as a drop set? Like meaning like, let's say you bench, let's say you max is, you know, 300 pounds on a bench or whatever it is, right? 300. So you start with that and then you go backwards. So that way, you know, you go with the heaviest when you do strongest, right? When you're still fresh and then you kind of decline and you still can do more on the lighter weight. Th does that make sense? Yeah, I call that a reverse pyramid. But the problem with that is, I did that the other day, actually. It's funny you mentioned that. You got to be warmed up. So on my second exercise of legs, I did that. Instead of, I said, okay, last, last week or last month, I ended up with five plates on this on each side. So I'm not going to go two, three, four, five. I just put on five and then I worked downwards. But you got to be careful because when you start a new movement or you start training a new muscle, you don't want to just put a really heavy load onto your, onto your body. It's dangerous. One, it's dangerous. And another thing is, bro, we're human beings. We're not, we're, we're, our bodies are not meant to be bodybuilders. So when you go in the gym and you lift a heavy weight and you're trying to train chest, your body doesn't give a shit that it's chest day. Your body doesn't know that you're trying to grow your chest. Your body says, let me get this heavy ass weight off of me. So you're using your chest, you're using your delts, you're using your triceps and even your lats. So when you guys go into the gym, you got to warm up. It's not just for safety and injury prevention, but you have to send blood and get a pump in the muscle that you're training and get that mind muscle connection. So always the first few sets that I do, I do double the reps. I'll do 15, 20 reps. I'll make sure I get blood in that muscle. I'll squeeze. I allow myself to get that connection and then I'll start pushing harder and heavier.